Okay, everybody, welcome back. I'm going to be showing you how I do my final softening on my rabbit skins as well as some of the sheep, smaller sheep and goats. Now, this is easy for me to use. This is just the rung for my garage door, the arm, and it has a not sharp at all, but a metal abrasive side on the other side. So it's just kind of a lip where I can rub it back and forth easily. And this was one of the rabbit skins. So this one is ready to soften, but it's a little too hard for me to do I'm with my own hands, especially because I do have uh, joint problems in my hands. So I'm gonna show you how I do it on here. Hopefully I can get this properly in frame for you. So, pretty simple. Now here's the trick though. I go around the edges first, but make sure to hold on right to the top so I am not going to be going over and accidentally rubbing on the hair because that will definitely pull it off. But all I'm gonna do is go back and forth. And that area I just went back and forth, nice and white now. So I'll do another area, this area between the neck. So before, I apologize for the sound. after so nice and soft and I'll do it around on this side so hard soft looks a little bit like suede there so you also want to go a different direction so on the back this is going to be mostly wanting to spread this direction not as much in that direction so that means I'm going to want to work it back and forth like this and if you watch it gets quite a bit of stretch and you will feel it stretching as well it will actually get bigger so that's how big it is there all I did was pull and it actually made it bigger. And you can be pretty rough with it as long as you support it properly. Now I, was, it, I could definitely rip it here. I can feel it. If I wanted to rip it, it would be very easy. I would just have to go downwards. So make sure you're going straight back and forth and not pulling at a downward angle. Otherwise, you're just going to rip it apart, especially on rabbits. Other animals, I mean, you still have to be careful, but definitely not as careful as on these guys. Now, you could use really anything. You can use an axe. So, actually, I have, conveniently have one right here. A rusty axe, don't mind it. So, you could just use the edge of this and rub against this as well. Um, this is basically the same thing. This one even is a little sharper than what I have on the back here. So if you had a dull surface, anything like that, you could just put it in a vise, rub it back and forth, and that will definitely uh, save you some work on your fingers, but your hands, still a little bit tough, especially if you have no energy like me. But, I mean, that's not even finished, but it's definitely a lot softer than before, and I do finish off my other ones that are pre soft So here's that white one that was in the previous video, and I will just give him a once over, and this just makes it extra soft, and I find that I like it. It just makes it kind of stay nice and soft because you're getting that much more stretch that just your hands themselves couldn't do. And it kind of cleans it up a little bit, gets off all the little rough bits. Really nice looking leather. Now some of that speckling is just a little dirt, but super, super soft leather. Would make lovely gloves. <laughs> and that's it. That's, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I will have links to other videos for similar topics in my description below. Thank you.